we detail the wheels. There are times when I want to have something that's going to be a car that's going to be close up in a scene. This technique can be used on most vehicles. Here we take a look at a Ford C-Series box van. All right, we're looking at a C-Series uh, Athern truck here, and I'm gonna make this pretty simple. What I wanna do is actually bring a little more detail into the vehicle instead of just taking it out of the box and just dropping it on the railroad. Um, in this particular case, what I end up using is, it's India ink, I use a paintbrush, and then I also have just on hand as a toothpick for detailing the lugs. Now, I do have one uh, toothpick sitting here. It's actually just a sharpened dowel, and uh, you can see that it's been brought to a Fairly sharp point. Fellow modeler uh, that actually just does 187 scale is uh, Curtis. We see him at shows periodically and he often brings up different tips. One of the ones that he's used, he uses actually a pin vise with a pin in it. And um, if you look close on these, there are actual lug nuts on these and he actually details each one of them. And now when you see the trucks and vehicles that he's done in person, it's pretty impressive. Um, I don't necessarily take it to that level, but there are times when I want to have something that's going to be a car that's going to be close up in a scene. Uh, I have made the attempt and I've, I've done um, lug nuts in the past. But uh, in this particular application, we're not going to. We want to keep it very straight and simple. Uh, this is what we do to be able to take this wheel. As you see here, it's just stark white factory and take it to something like that. Give it a little bit of age um, so it doesn't look so snappy. And there's more depth that can be found because these castings a lot of times are very nice. And with that said, um, you can bring out the detail just by doing some very simple things like this. So I take the India ink. I just do a little bit on the tip of the brush. Um, this stuff goes a long ways, and the nice thing I like about India ink is that if you make a mistake, you really can just dilute it with water and um, kind of back up the process, and you're not going to be feeling like, well, I put a bunch of paint on there, now I can't get the paint off, I ruined it. Um, this is just a nice way to go about doing it. So what I've got here, and I do have on hand, is just a damp rag, um, so I'll use that here in just a moment, but I'll put a little bit more on. This stuff does dry fairly quick. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just coat the whole wheel. What you're trying to do is get the stuff down into the recesses of the wheel because now we're just going to right wipe the uh, the surface clean. So taking the damp cloth. See now I probably got a little bit more aggressive than I wanted to, but you can see that I've got recesses that are filled in with the dark side. Um, fairly close to what we kind of got going on over here. This one I could probably lighten up even still just a little bit. Uh, you can do this with paint too. Uh, I do it with acrylic paint. Uh, a lot of times we'll blacken in the grill on a vehicle. Uh, be able to do some details like that. But you can see this is a pretty simple process to be able to do that and have the wheels then look a little bit more um, natural, if you will, and bring out some of the details. A uh, simple thing to do instead of just taking it and setting it out right on the railroad. Um, you know, take two minutes. It didn't take any time at all to be able to dull that up a little bit. And I'll do the back wheels the same way. And another nice thing about these Atherin trucks is that there's something pretty simple about the actual truck itself. Um, there's just four little tabs that hold this on. And if you take other vehicles, like I've worked on other projects in the past, I've got like here a stake bed. I want to turn this into a stake bed because I've done maybe some detail work on it that I like. I can just swap this out and you snap on the new back and now you have your stake bed truck. I've modified so many different versions of these Atherin trucks. Whenever I see them, I tend to try to pick them up. Like here, the stake beds are free and loose. If I want to have a white set, these things do just pop off. So it's kind of nice to be able to kind of mix and match some of those things. I do have another truck that I was working on. This one here, I swapped out the wheels on it. So the wheels on this no longer are the ones that are desired. Uh, at the end of the day, it's just kind of a little bit more of a, I've done that wipe technique on these wheels. Same with the back wheel here. The truck itself isn't finished. As you can see, I've got storage extra pieces that I've stuck in this trailer. But there are the little tabs underneath there. This bed would pop off um, the same way. And I could then pair it up with this one. Or if I wanted this truck to have this particular box on it, you know, you can swap it out and do that as well. So there's a lot of different things mixing and matching as far as these Atherin trucks are concerned. It's kind of cool in that regards. There are no limits in terms of your 187 scale vehicles to be able to upgrade them and change them into something that you think is unique or you might like. And um, at the end of the day, there are so many different um, options out there like this. Again, the box truck it pops off. And what I want to do is I'm going to change this back door. I'm actually going to turn it into just a slatted rear truck because we're not quite sure what was going on with this divided kind of garage door style door i want just solid panels and uh, with that said you'd be able to achieve that look by simply either swapping it out stick a different piece of styrene in there here the front one 
that one came off as well. I didn't realize all these sides come off and um, you can take them off, paint them, leave your silver corners if you want to paint this blue and have a silver side. So it's kind of cool in that regard. I had no idea that they uh, came apart this much, but again, uh, fellow modelers that shows, um, Curtis happened to be one that uh, had showed me this particular uh, tip. And now that the truck's all back together, I can obviously just snap this thing back on here. And I've got a truck uh, ready to set down at one of the industries. So again, simple tip. And uh, hopefully you'll be able to use this type of uh, technique with some of your trucks or vehicles that you might already have. And um, just taking your railroad just one step closer to uh, having a little bit more sense of realism. So hopefully you enjoyed this episode of Sue the Milwaukee Road. We'll look forward to uh, future episodes. Thank you.